hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you how we can do retrieval augmented generation with a model which can tackle hallucinations grounded factuality is a way of measuring hallucinations hallucinations are simply a phenomena where a large language model either fabricates or outright gives you some misleading information in response to your prompt in grounded factuality, the source of truth is given in a context document. Then the factuality of a claim is checked with respect to that given context and that is what this model bespoke mini check does. I already have shown you how you can install it locally with the help of Olama and we play around with these documents and claims and how exactly this model deals with hallucinations. So if you're interested in learning more about the architecture and how this model works, please check out this video which I just did few hours back. In order to give you a bit more information as how exactly this grounded factuality is working, if you look here, you see that on the left hand side we have a document which is a simple line it could be a full-blown document and then there is a claim so document says the students are preparing for their examinations where the claim is in the context of that document that the students are studying which is correct so this model bespoke mini check always returns yes or no as a response in this case because the claim is true it is factual and it is grounded in that document the response is yes whereas another claim that the students are on vacation is totally wrong in context of that document that is how this bespoke mini check responded no here in this response now when it comes to rag grounded factuality is very important because where a context naturally exists and llm generates claims or answers if a claim is not factually grounded in a context, then it means that the model hallucinated some unsupported information. Red based tools often hallucinate and there have been a lot of studies, benchmarks and um, evidence that suggests that hallucination is a big problem even in the quality LLMs. So if you look at this diagram, for example, there is a retrieved document from the vector store and then there is a prompt which has been augmented with this uh, document and sometimes model responds correctly as you can see on the left hand side, but sometimes it just responds totally wrong or it just simply makes up the information or gives misleading information with full confidence. So if you are using a rack pipeline and you really don't want any hallucinations uh, in most of the cases then maybe have a look at this bespoke mini check model to be inserted somewhere in your rack pipeline so that you would have an extra layer of protection there so in this video we are going to install it locally and then we are going to check how exactly this works so before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Okay, so that said and done, let me take you to my terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.04. And I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. First up, let me create a virtual environment with Anaconda. Let's wait for it to get finished. That is done. Let me create some of the prerequisites. Let's wait for it to get installed. This is going to take a couple of minutes. All the prerequisites are done. Let me clear the screen here. Now, the tool which I'm going to use to download the models is Olama. If you don't know what Olama is, please search my channel. This is one of the easiest way to run large language models locally and I have done heaps of videos on the Olama. I already have Olama installed, so let me go back to my terminal and show you Olama list. It is running, there is no model. For this rag, let's download three models, embedding and Llama 3.1 and also the bespoke mini check. Let's wait for these to get downloaded. Um, all of them are not that big. You see that I think the only bigger one 
might be this llama 3.1 which is around 4.7 gig let's wait for it to get downloaded and this is how olama downloads it and then verifies the checksum shouldn't take too long now so all the models are downloaded as you can see so if i clear my screen and show you olama list you will see there are three models next up let's git clone the repo of olama and then cd into it that is also done and now let's install all the requirements from this repo because this contains how we need to do the rag let's do it okay so let me quickly check why it is unable to find it okay right so we are not in the right directory so let me go there so we need to be in this example python ground root virtuality rag check directory let's clear the screen and now let's check if the requirement.txt is there it is so let's install the requirement.txt from here let's wait for a minute to get it installed shouldn't take too long all the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen by pressing ctrl capital l and now let me show you how to do the rag with it in order to get started just run this command python3 main.py from the root of this folder so as soon as you press enter here it is going to ask you to enter the url of an article you want to chat with so if you just press enter it is going to go with the default example but let me try to first grab one of a small blog post from my own blog and if you're interested to visiting it it is fahadmirza.com so let me grab it it has to do with some oracle events and this blog post when i wrote it in 2011 so long time back okay so let's try it out let me go back to my terminal then i'm just going to paste it here and then let me press enter and you see it has done all the steps of uh, rag like it has loaded the document it has split it into smaller chunks and then it has converted into numerical representations or embeddings from this url now if you go to this url again let's try to pick some any word like what is this so i'm just going to ask it what is this send blkd let's go back here what is send blkd and question mark and once you run it you can see that first it loaded and chunked the text from my blog post and then it asked me to send the to enter the question which we did this is the retrieve chunked from that uh, memory vector store and then it is telling us llm answer that the provided text does not mention send bulk t and i think it couldn't read or scrape my web page i think that is what it what happened there but other than that uh, it has shown us that how it is working let me try to maybe just try their example okay let me clear the screen let me run it again let me go with default let me ask something like who owns openai because that is i think the title of this article is there you go so now it can because it can read that so that is how it was able to reduce that information the main thing here is that if i scroll above you will see that this is a whole article and it has grabbed the chunk from there this is a llm answer from that and this is a llama 3.1 i believe and then here is the claim claim and then for the claim <clears throat> the value yes and no has been given by uh, our bespoke mini check so this is a claim like text does not mention who owns OpenAI. So is the claim supported? Yes. And then however, according to general knowledge, OpenAI is privately held company founded is this, this, this. It says, is this claim supported by context? It says no, because it's not mentioned there. How good is that? So that's how you can do the rag with the help of this bespoke mini check and Olama. I will drop the link to it in video description. Play around with it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.